Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve from Steve's Mac Fix. Uh, today what we're going to be discussing is overheating uh, MacBooks, so MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, whatever you got. Um, I've had this problem before when I first got my MacBook. I was like, why is it getting super hot um, when I'm searching the internet or anything, if I'm doing a lot of rendering with video editing, whatever. So we're going to solve that solution today with a program called SMC Fan Control. I should be there somewhere on the bottom. Um, Anyway, the links will be on the descriptions on this side or that side, and I keep forgetting which side it is, and uh, let's check it out. Um, anyway, I'm already using it right now, as you can see, but we're going to go over everything from the beginning, and installation, and how to check your preferences. So, anyway, um, let's go ahead and start. First, we're going to download it. Go ahead and go to your Firefox, and what we're going to do is... Google search it. You can check out my other videos on searching the web super fast. Um, check out my other videos on Firefox and how to browse the internet. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go Google SMC fan control. And then from there, uh, what we're gonna do is you're gonna get two links ahead of it. You wanna go to this one here that says download SMC fan control for Mac, the one that says uh, macupdate.com. Reason why is because it gives you the latest version that's out there right now, currently. Um, the other ones are going to like lead to the 1.0. This one goes to 2.1.3.1. So what we're going to do now is download it. Click here, and then from there, uh, save. I'll save it, even though I already have it. it takes a few seconds. Um, it is a zip file, so we're going to unpackage it next. So let's minimize out of here, and it's downloading now. Okay, close this, and what we're going to do now is take this, double click it, and you will get the folder. Take the folder, drag it over to this side, and go ahead and double click it. Let's move this to the side here so you can see everything I'm doing. And we're next we're going to go to Finder. And then on... F uh, no. Yeah. I lied. Yeah, let's open Finder. We're going to go to Applications, and then we're going to um, go to uh, this folder here. We're going to take this program, SMC Fan Control, once you're in there. You don't need to drag these over. We're just going to take this here and drag it over to um, your Applications folder. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. I'll show you right here, SMC Fan Control. Once you install it, what's going to happen is um, it might ask for um, your username and password. Don't be alarmed, that's not a, you know, it's not going to install like uh, spyware or anything like that. Um, it's just asking for administrative rights so that way it can control the fan. Okay. Now, after it's installed, um, you'll see it here. I'm going to go over here, as you can see in my degrees is 142 degrees. I'm at 1963. Let's change that up. We're going to go preferences. Go and click on there. And then what we're going to do, I want my default higher. I've already tested this out. I usually go about 4,000 RPMs, 4,200 something like that. So I'm going to put it there. Okay. The other options is this. When it's, I think in default, it, it gives you um, Celsius, so wherever you're in this world, you can choose Celsius. I live in America, in California, so we're going to put Fahrenheit. I like to also put it uh, auto start, so that way when I first log in, it automatically uses it. And you can check for updates or not, I don't do that. I like to know what I install before I, um, I do the research before I install something new. Save. So as you can see, it's starting to rise on the rounds per minute. Um, and there you go. Let's watch the degrees. It's going to go a tiny bit higher because the fan is going to start to go faster, and then all of a sudden it's going to drop. So we're at 136. Let's come back to that in a second. Let's say um, you wanted to change, add a different preference. Let's say you want, you could do like a, the default, and let's say you want to do some major browsing or a lot of rendering on your computer. We can have another setting, an additional setting. So let's go to preferences, and we could add one. 
and then from there let's say um, uh, high preferences and we can put save and then from there you could change your speed to whatever you want let's say we want 5,000 I don't like the 5,000 because it gets too loud um, you might hear my fan if I turn that on so I'm not going to do that but you could save that like that um, and then you just press save so next thing you know if you want to choose uh, well it's going to use it now see it's going to climb to 5,000 but let's just go back to um, my default so you could hear me better save so as you can see it's already climbing down a little bit give it like three minutes and it'll start being fine um, let's go over what exactly it does again um, basically it just puts your fans faster um, the default for my MacBook is 1,800. Each MacBook has its own um, Apple preferences. Are you ruining it? Absolutely not. Um, Apple just has their low end. You make you to make sure you start off slow. Um, but the problem with that to me is it gets hot fast. And whenever you get heat, what happens is you might ruin your soldering on your computer. And you know, I hate to say it, but you know, you want your balls nice and cool. You don't want it hot. So. Anyway, um, if you can I already look to. I'm already at 127. It should drop down to 122 when you're about this um, speed. Anyway, um, what else is about it? Uh, let's say you have a um, boot camp. Well, I use boot camp. Um, I'm a PC user converting to Mac, and once in a while I do have to use my PC side. So, does this convert over? Kind of. There's a work around it. Um, SMC fan control, there is no program directly with um, Windows, whether you have XP or Vista. Um, what you have to do is, I would right now, let's say I wanted to go to the PC side, I would have to log off and on my boot options go ahead and go into my Windows side and then what I'll do is carry over the speed. Now, let's say my computer was turned off and um, I didn't load to OS and I load straight to Windows, it will not work. It's going to stay at that preference automatically. Um, other than that, I think we're good today. So if you have problems with your MacBook overheating, try this program out. It's great. Um, keeps your MacBook nice and cool. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask, and then um, I'll ask you from there. Please subscribe to my videos, and um, if you have any suggestions for more videos, let me know, and I'll try it out. Take care. Bye.